What is up you guys? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, I had a few video ideas for today, but I I have something in the mail. I've had it for a while and I really want to play with it. So I decided to just do an impromptu video where I show you guys what I ordered from Violette FR. So if you guys don't know Violette, I would highly recommend you to look into the brand Violette herself. She's currently the creative director of Girl Love. And I like her aesthetic. She has some type of cool girl, French girl vibe, Parisian cool style. I don't know. I like it. And I've been looking at her brand for a while and I I wanted to try some products. I didn't get the entire line, but I at least wanted to try a face product, eye product, and of course her signature lip product. So I already went ahead and prepped my skin. I did have to pay an extra customs when I actually got this order. So I didn't think, I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna pay any customs, but I had to pay like 21 euros, I believe. Because it's a French owned brand, to be honest, I wasn't sure if I had to pay any customs because I thought maybe the warehouse would be like, I don't know, in Paris. I don't know, I was quite naive about it, but I, I remember thinking if there is gonna be a custom that I have to pay, I'll just pay it and I, I won't bother with it. I really wanted to try this brand out for a long time. I did a poll not so long ago where I asked you guys what brands you are interested in and I gave options like Vive and Tower 28 and just you know RMS I believe and I just asked you guys what you guys want to see and a lot of people for for a channel my size a lot of people were like Violette <laughs> and I you know I'm interested in them I like one and done shadows I like very minimalist looks and I feel like Violette is sort of like a minimalist mixed with kind of like a cool girl vibe so the packaging it comes into it's very almost like lab style very clean nothing too much to say about it except I like how simple it is everything looks very sterile do you know what I mean like it looks like it's part of like a doctor's office or something <laughs> they also have this really cute like paper that I had to keep for some kind of like Instagram moment because it's so it's so nice that like there's attention to detail there so the component if you take it out of the package the component looks like this so everything is just very sterile looking. What I really like about it is that even though it has kind of that lab style look, there is a cohesion here with like the gold tips for example. So let's check out the U paints. I got two U paints by the way. I have a matte and one of the shimmer ones and both of them have this really cute yeah, logo at the top if you haven't seen this already and they're the same size So the you paint to do which is the matte one is a little bit bigger the carton and it says it's made in the USA It's vegan. It has a 12 month shelf life Which I really like because usually these single shadows especially the liquid kinds have a six month shelf life But this one has a 12 month shelf life put the ingredient list right here highly pigmented color that seamlessly blends onto eyelids best worn with an Apero in hands. I have no idea what an Apero is but so this is the shade to do I was hoping this was gonna be a nice everyday shade by the way I have tried this before so this is not the first impression of these U paints the U paints are the only ones I've tried before I haven't tried the blush or the lipstick just yet then I have another U paint so this is a U paint twinkling I got mine in the shade Maron Glace this one has a 12 month shelf life. It's also vegan. It says a metallic mistake proof pigment that effortlessly glides onto eyelids to deliver an elevated French take on universally flattering shimmer. The Matthew paint has a 2.79 grams of net weight and the twinkling says it has a three grams net weight. I don't know why that is, but it is what it is. I'll put the ingredient list over here. It says glide the flat side of the applicator along the top lash line and quickly blend the pigment into the using fingertips or a brush. Create a shape or precise liner look by using the tip to draw. Either way, it's quick and easy. So even blending these out, they retain just their base pigment basically throughout. So keep that in mind when I start applying because I'm gonna start using very little of this product because it's a very potent product, very powerful. Now let's look at the blush that I got from the lineup. So this is called the Bizu Blush. It has a seven grams net weight. It's a matte cream blush and it has a brush on the other side it's made in Italy it's also vegan and has a 24 month shelf life it says give your cheeks a kiss of color this matte cream blush melts into the skin create a natural fresh face flush each bijou blush houses a swirl of marbled pigments to deliver a multi-dimensional wash of color that adds a healthy blush to your skin while the attached brush allows you to easily apply and blend on this spot 
Then finally, I have our Matte Petal Bouge Liquid Lipstick. Now, I've really been interested in this product because you can build this product up to look like some sort of rose, you know, lip. And this is kind of her signature lip. I'm not really into liquid lipsticks too much anymore because they are quite drying on the lips and my lips are hella dry. But I have been interested in this one. I like the innovation behind this if it does work. So we're definitely going to see that in this demo. I have never tried this before. So let's read a little bit about the description and how much net weight is in here. So this has a 3.5 grams net weight. It's vegan. It's made in the USA. A, and it says it's quite French to wear a red anytime a feeling of va va voom is desired. Use the applicator tip to line lips, then fill in or blur the edges for an effortless, just kissed look. It has 12 month net weight, if I didn't say that already. And there's currently two shades there's a red shade and there's a pink shade. And I got mine in the red shade. So we're gonna go in with the Bizu blush first. I have the shade Louise, if I didn't say that yet. And I do wanna try with this brush as well. So I feel like. Like Louise is definitely like my go-to shade out of all of them. There's a great selection. I believe there's four or five of them, but I was definitely interested in trying this one. I haven't seen many reviews of this, sadly, because I do think that this is going to be a, a stunner. And let's use this cheek for the demo. It's a very soft color, not like my Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks blush sticks. So let's use the brush to blend it out and see what is left. I'm afraid to disturb the base, so I'm just gonna dot it <laughs> and see what is left. I feel like it's gonna be very beginner friendly, very idiot proof. It feels like nothing on the skin. Pigment is fair, but it is there and it is quite flattering. I, I quite like it. I wonder if you can build this up, so let's build it. Also, because of that marbled effect, the marble looks like it's gone, but because of that marbled effect, I feel like there is a little bit of, I don't want to say sheen, kind of a pearl sheen to it. It's very flattering. It doesn't accentuate my pores. Soft. It's very feminine. I guess that's the word. I feel like it's just very feminine. I like it. So far, I really enjoy it. This, by the way, is Petal from Westman Atelier. Mimi, my favorite one. You can see that these two are very close in color. And this is Shushette right next to it. So that is the blush portion all done. They do have one of those stick highlighters. I have a few stick highlighters in my collection and I'll be completely honest with you. I'm not really into them, so I decided to pass on the stick highlighter, but I think I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury wands in Pillow Talk. Then next, I wanna go into the U paints. This is gonna haunt me a little bit. They're pretty difficult to work with, if I say so myself, after one time use, because they're so incredibly pigmented. So I'm gonna start in with To Do, which is the matte one, and I'm just gonna dot a tiny little bit on this side of my my hand like this is as much as I'll do one dot I'll show you guys how far this dot will take me let me grab a I guess the rare beauty brush will be a great one to use in this instant because that one is made for cream and liquid shadows and I'm just gonna use the dot and I'm gonna start on the outside because I want this part to be deeper than the rest one side <laughs> i'm moving a little bit quickly that's because these do dry down and when they dry down they have a really great wear time then let's use a clean brush to just diffuse the edges and voila that one dot I'm not even done with that one dot. I could still build up. Let's see if this dot didn't dry out yet. And use it all over my lid. So this is where I'll stop. Let me see if they're equal. They're equal enough, right? You can do so much with one single dot of this. It's quite a beautiful product. It has a really great dry down. It has a really great wear time. 
my one you know if I'm gonna go into my final thoughts already on um, this you paint the matte one the one problem is that I don't think it's beginner friendly the first time I used this the pigment you know you you tend to go into these you paints thinking like any other liquid shadow you want to go in like this and just swipe a little bit on and then start rubbing out the pigment with this one your entire face will be covered like I said I used one single dot and that is how I did the eyes and this is kind of where I would leave it personally on a day-to-day -day basis so you're not gonna finish this for a freaking lifetime this will last you a lifetime one of these so there's pros and cons with it when I think about it, it once you know how to use the these I think the formula is absolutely amazing but it's gonna take you you know a while and last time my eyes weren't equal so I wanted to build up a little bit on the other side and before I knew it I kind of looked like a brown toned raccoon I wasn't really here for it <laughs> like I'm gonna be honest I wasn't I wasn't happy <laughs> okay let's go in with the twinkling eye, pa eye paints or you you paint sorry so I want to kind of use it as a liner because last time I didn't use it as a liner and it just went everywhere to help me I'm gonna use this refer brush this is the 34 brush and this is a mini 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 liner brush wipe some down then again just dots and let's go in with a liner brush. I also have a diffuser for when I want to diffuse that liner. I'm just going to compliment Refer on this liner brush because it's working amazingly. This is literally the best liner brush I've ever used. So this is what we have so far and I am I'm loving this. This looks so much better than the first time I did this look. I want to show you guys what this looks like in the lighting. I want to show you the swatch one more time of the glaze liner, the model glaze, because it's definitely more of a metallic. I don't see a lot of glitter particles in this, or maybe the glitter particles are so small. Like if you really zoom in, you see kind of glitter particles into it kind of like golden glitter particles but they're very refined this makes for such a beautiful liner guys I don't want to touch it anymore I actually really like the way that this looks I know maybe some of you guys are gonna be a little bit disappointed you probably wanted to see a little bit more of that sparkle but I hope you guys can see what you can do with these U paints once you're kind of like familiar with the formula I feel like the U paints the twinkling one is easier to work with in terms of if you just want to go in from this container straight to the eye I feel like that was easier the first time I used this than the matte one the matte one just went all over the place but both of these are incredibly powerful in pigment now these dry down like I said really beautifully and they'll stay on all day so the moment you start knowing how to use these I actually think that the formula is really nice I just don't I would never recommend these to a beginner I'm gonna keep the video here because I want to go in with the lip uh, and I want you guys to see see it up close now I'm a little bit afraid <laughs> of this so I'm gonna get a like a lip liner brush just in case things go south like Sherman I want to go in straight from the applicator and I put a little bit of lip oil on my lips because I heard these were a little dry to the lips so I did do some lip prepping so this was sort of one swipe. I know my lips don't look even, so I'm gonna go in with my lip brush. I'm so sorry if my lips look a little clownish. <laughs> I really tried. I'm definitely a lip liner girl. This was hard to apply in one go. I need a little bit of concealer to, I don't know, fix the edges a little bit. So give me, give me some time to fix the edges. Okay, so this is the first coat. It looks a little clownish, <laughs> but 
this is the shape I'm not gonna change it anymore I want to go in with one more coat on the sides but I'm gonna do it like I did with the U paints because it's all a little bit too powerful for me like it's just too hard to go in with a red straight from the freaking uh, doe foot I so I'm gonna use a different lip liner brush from low care You can deepen out the color even more. You can really play with this. You can make the edges soft like Violette says, but I'm gonna leave it right here. So guys, this is the final look I'll put together. And overall, I really like this brand. I like this brand aesthetic. I like the colors that I chose. I think the blush is very fair, has a really nice glow to it, and it's very beginner. Friendly. I like the color that I chose, Louise, and it feels like nothing on the skin. It didn't fully dry down, but it's not tacky either. I don't think like my, yeah, my, my hair is not going to stick to the blush. So I'm quite impressed with the blush. I want to try to do a check-in, but if I can't do a check-in, so you don't see a check-in in this video, then I'll make sure to put a check-in in the comment section. Hi guys, so this is my five hour update, almost six hours. This is gonna be my only update on the makeup, and I have some thoughts. First off, I feel like I still look pretty good. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see the final result. So this is everything zoomed in, personally, I think that everything held up pretty well, if I say so myself. If we're talking about the U paints first, I of course have two U paints. I do want to take this moment to say that for Valentine's Day, they did launch a new duo. Both of them are kind of like this, but then the purple versions <laughs> of these two. Super stunning, but these are more my colors and I'm happy that I chose this color. In terms of a matte, I felt like To Do is still a little bit, I don't know, maybe like has a lot of red tones in it. I wouldn't use this for an everyday color per se, but definitely uh, with Marron Glaze. It looks really beautiful. I am someone that has a very oily eyelids and I think it held up decent. I think the eye look still looks pretty good. There is a little bit a little bit of creasing if you can see here maybe if i used an eyeshadow primer it probably would hold up even better the liner bit so the marron glaze uh held up immaculately no problems there i'm gonna say great pigment not easy to use so not a beginner friendly but i do really like these and i would recommend them if you're looking into them if you don't like the fuss with makeup you like dummy proof makeup i get it i'm the same i don't think these are for you if I can be completely honest. I find the Lisa Aldrich ones much easier to use. Also, the nearly neutral color from Rare Beauty is actually way more pink than this one. Um, but that formulation, I do feel it's easier to work with. And of course, my Smashbox eyeshadows, I believe, or cream shadows, those are much easier to use as well. So it has some competition, especially the matte one, but I don't hate them. And I think that they held up decent. So I would recommend them. Then let's go to the blush. The blush went on faint and it's still faint. It kind of looks like skin from afar. It's not tacky. It just it feels like skin still. You still see it and actually I really like the blush. I think the blush is beginner friendly, dummy proof and I would recommend. I like that it's not a like flat and matte. It's not comparable to the Westman Atelier blushes. The Westman Atelier are much higher in pigments. I have a video on those so check that one out. It's getting a lot of <laughs> like views lately but this one has something yeah it has something unique i really like it i like the fact that it's very sheer if that's not your thing then this is not the blush for you if you like a nice blushy moment this is not the blush for you but if you like uh, something that is very understated this is a really nice blush formulation and to be honest it's pretty long wearing after five hours it looks exactly the same in these five hours i went to the market i had lunch with my son and my husband so we did a lot of stuff and i still feel like the look held up together really nicely. The petal bouge matte, and this is what is left. So there is a little bit of a wear and tear, but not too bad, and it doesn't look, so it doesn't wear um, off in a bad way. I don't mind things that wear off, as long as it doesn't look weird. And I feel like it's still, it looks like an ombre effect. I, 
I enjoyed the pigments. It's a little bit too powerful for me powerful for me. I find it pretty hard to apply because it's such a powerful red. I would like to have a lip liner with this, so maybe I'm gonna buy the Lisa Eldridge ribbon um, liner for this one. But the lipstick is very powerful. I love that you can build this up. I think it's a very unique formula. In terms of drying, it is drying. So if that's not your thing, don't get this one. But uh, it's not so bad that I hate hate the feeling of it. Personally, I prefer non-matte lipsticks, but this is not like a 2016 matte like liquid lip. This is, it's drying, but also not to the point where I absolutely would <laughs> tear it to bits in my review. You, you see a bit of my lip lines, you know, I have very dry lips. So I think that there are people out there that probably wear this better than me. I think that after, what, five to six hours, I still look really nice. I look at myself in the viewfinder and I still feel like I look put together. I would want to reapply a bit of the lipstick to get a little bit more on the center. I think I might go in with a lip oil of the same color. Overall, I think it's a cohesive line. It looks super beautiful. I really enjoy all the products. I think the U paints are fun to use, not beginner friendly, great for a liner and it's great for a everyday look if you have a little bit of time. You can go wrong with the U paints. Same goes for the um, matte liquid lip. It's a beautiful formulation, but it, it took me forever to apply. I did make some mistakes. It's just really powerful. It's easier to put it on your hands and then to go into it. So it does make for a little bit of a mess. If I was rushing to go to work, for example, I probably wouldn't reach for these products because there's a lot of room for mistakes just saying except for the blush i think the blush is a very interesting formula not like some of the formulations that i have it feels more balmy than it does with for example my um westman atelier or my victoria beckham beauty this feels more balmy so i really like uh, the blush formulation and it's unfortunate that you don't really see a lot about it anyway guys so that is my check-in i'm going to end the video here because i have a whole day ahead of me but thank you guys all so much for watching let me know if you like this video if you have any questions make sure to comment down below i'll make sure to link everything down below i don't think i'm affiliated or can like have an affiliate of this brand but uh, i'll link the non-affiliates down below as well thank you guys again all so much for watching i uh, i love you guys as subscribers you guys know if you haven't subscribed and you want to be part of the love please do so i'd love to have you i'm a small channel but i'm very dedicated and of course have a beautiful day and i'll see you guys next time